this is Walter Beasy, just taking a little bit of time for Walter Beasy sax lessons and showing you or demonstrating how I warm up. First of all, I just take a couple of deep breaths in through my nose, out through my mouth, and I try to make them as deep as possible. Make sure I bring the air all the way down. And what it actually does, it just warms, starts to warm up, um, uh, it starts to get me used to, to breathing like that. And it helps to warm up the airstream and all that kind of stuff. Then I'll do the lip flutters. I'll breathe in through my nose and the lip flutters uh, when I blow out. When I'm singing, that also helps to, to warm up the, the vocal cords too. Again, I'll do it again. That's just for sax players or brass players. And this one is for those of us who sing on the side. Also, well, after that, what I'll do is I'll get the, the neck of the horn, put the mouthpiece on the horn, and just begin to blow very softly. But I'll take the deep breath in, uh, diaphragmatic breath through my nose, and gently blow out until the neck starts to warm up. The, if the neck is cold, I'll start to feel the neck and make sure that it starts to get warm, 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 warmer, warmer, and as it goes down. And then I'll grab the saxophone and do the same. But again, to recap, I'm breathing through my nose, about five or six deep diaphragmatic breaths out through my mouth, grab the saxophone neck, put the mouthpiece on the neck, and just blow gently. After, of course, I've, I've licked the reed several times. Now, many people put their reeds in water or, or in something that, that keeps them moist. I don't like that because I like to try to control the moisture of the reed as I play. So what I'll do is I'll start licking the reed from the get. And when I put the rest of the horn together, even if I'm playing long tones or, or what, what have you, I'll lick the reed every time I take a breath to slowly uh, get the moisture introduced to the to the reed so that I can control not only the airflow or the air or the airstream but the, the moisture on the reed. Now I picked up the horn, I placed the, the neck and the mouthpiece on the, the horn. The horn is ice cold. So what I'll do is I'll I'll do what I call a heat check. I'll play the middle of the horn. For me it's G. I like the way the G sounds when uh, the horn is starting to, to do the right thing. And I'll play it. <laughs> time I play the G and I come off of it, I come off of it, I'll lick the reed just to, to keep it to, or to introduce more moisture onto the reed. And if you can hear the buzz, there's a buzz on the G that I try to keep consistent throughout every note that I play uh, away from the G. So I try to center the rest of the notes in the middle of the horn uh, try to make them sound like the G so that it'll be consistent up above the horn and down below again. So I try to keep it consistent and I just extend that exercise higher and higher and lower and lower. If this has been helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button below and I appreciate your support uh, for more products uh, that have to do with sound production or playing the saxophone or group playing or improvisation. Feel free to go to WalterBeasley.com, my Facebook page, iTunes, um, Google Play. Uh, I have plenty of educational DVDs. So thank you so very much for your support and see you soon.